I'm here with Tommy Bicola and Martin Starr, um, filmmaker and star of uh, Dead Snow, Red versus Dead. Yeah. I, I love the look of the film. It, the concept was fun. You know, as, you, as you're watching it, you're wondering how gory is it going to get, how absurd is it going to get, but it all worked for me. Not nice. Yes, I think because, you know, it was a nice look, you know, you could see that there was time and effort, you know, put into it. What, you know, first question, what made you want to do, you know, a, a zombie Nazi in, you know, the, the north part of <laughs> well, the mean, world? I, 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 uh... You know, this is a sequel to a film we did in 2009, Dead Snow. Um, and uh, back then, I, you know, I, I wanted, back then, genre films in Norway was very rare, and, and nobody was doing them, and I always loved zombie films, and I loved horror, and I especially loved horror comedies. I thought they were, I always thought if you can make people laugh and scared and disgusted at the same time, it's a very unique feeling. Emphasis on disgusted. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but, um, so yeah, we just wanted to, and we 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 pulled actually from our history in northern Norway with Nazis. Uh, they were had a very strong presence in the Second World War, and so it would, you know, and also of course the natural thing of okay, how can we make a zombie more evil and interesting? Well, we make it a Nazi zombie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you part of the Zombie Society now, or? Yeah, we just got. Do you see? We, we got, got our memberships. Membership uh, and a lifetime membership in the Zombie Squad USA. <laughs> No, are we good? Yeah. Are they going to send us our cards? Yeah, I just got mine. Take photos? Did you get mine too? Yeah, well, oh, I saw your on the list, so you're in there. They just took photos of them online, I think. Oh, they're going to send us our cards? Yeah. Are they going to be at the premiere tonight? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do... Where's my card? Where's my... <laughs> <laughs> because you got benefits, you got lectures, you know, is, is there crossbow training or anything like tank training? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, actually, you know, the, the summer squad, you know, who, he plays leader in the yeah. film. Yeah. It's actually a real thing, and I, that was a long time ago. After we did the first one, I went online and somebody sent me this link of the zombie squad, and these are these you know bunch of people that think it's just a matter of time before the first zombie outbreak happens, and they train for it and they are prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm sure crossbow training is somewhere in that. Uh, Tybo classes. Yeah. Get yeah. into. Maybe a core workout. Yeah, uh, core workout. is always important. <laughs> so let, let me ask you about. Uh, the the magical power the, the resurrection is, is that was just something that you added to give a little more interest to the film because you because it explains how they become zombies and, yeah you know, the fighting well it, it, you know in the zombie lore it's kind of two different zombies you have the the classical ones that are out to eat flesh and like it's a virus that's uh, caused all this and then you have the evil dead version where a curse has occurred and that's what brings them back and we we chose the curse route and if you go that route you can involve magic in it. And yeah, we have a little awakening scene where he uses his newfound zombie powers to awaken Russians. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, we went, to, you know, we went that classical of, uh, of the curse, classical root of the curse. That sounds like a cool movie. The classical root of the curse. Yeah. You, you know, I was going to ask you because uh, there, there's a line. <laughs> Dead Snow Three: The Classical Root of the Curse. <laughs> nice. Because we're, I, I was thinking about a title because in, in, in one of the scenes. You have him say, uh, the lead, you know, the arm of Satan. And you know, I thought, oh, you know, that would have been an interesting title, you know, the arm of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what were some of the other titles that you had, you know, come up with? You know, uh, yeah, the other titles? Yeah, the other titles. I don't know. Yeah, well, first we had War of the Dead. That was kind of sound like a Romero film. Uh, nothing a dizzying Romero film, but we just wanted to distance ourselves from it. Um, I can't remember if, what we had, but that was, yeah, something with the arm. We had, I mean, we had... Um, in the first one, we had the, I have to say, we had one of the best taglines ever. And we had Dead Snow, uh, and the tagline was, Ein Schwei Die. Nice. Was it from you, you originated that one to add it all that together? Yeah, yeah. yeah nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. What's the, what's the, at the top of the poster now? The A sequel. sequel. The sequel you did not see coming. I like that. That's a good one too. Nice. Nice. Nazi spelled N O T space no. S. Spelled in the normal way. Spelled <laughs> in the normal way. Nazi. Nazi. So, so I have to ask, you know, uh, Martin, uh, your preparation dated a couple of not, uh, zombies. Uh, you know, what, what did you do to prepare? Oh, you read my book. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I dated a few Nazis. Okay. Um, and I 
killed them, and then I brought them back to life. Okay. <laughs> and then I killed them again. That's how you do with all your girlfriends, right? It's a classic tale. Love nice. love. Nice. Nice. So if your car got stuck, you'd be able to pry them underneath and. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Keep one in the in the trunk. Spoiler alert, everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sure not to hear it until afterwards. <laughs> you know, now. Uh, I don't recall the, the the zombie that kind of follows them around. Yeah, we just call them sidekick zombie. Sidekick zombie, perfect. You had to be like a puppy. Yeah. You know, it, that's how the, the, Yeah, the intent, the intention to do that, just have one that the first one he resurrected and it kind of clung to him. Yeah, it's like his little, Mama. little puppy. He played <laughs> like a puppy. And the fun one of the, you know, just for me, one of the fun parts of that is that the, the actor playing that zombie is like Norway's. Jack Nicholson, almost like he's a he's the best actor, one of the best actors we have, and it was just fun bringing him in, putting in makeup, nobody recognizes him, and I think it more of like Brad Pitt, but you could okay, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. and uh, but not saying a word. It was like, uh, and, and he really, but he really, and I knew as well that he would inject life into that. He would make it unique, yeah. and uh, yeah, he really pulled it off. It's, just, uh, it's fun, you know, when you see the film with the crowd, his scenes. Yeah. Always get the, the biggest last one, especially the scene you mentioned earlier yes. involving a car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what did I mention? Uh, the the well, I don't know, depending on how much we can mention. Uh, sure, the, go ahead. the the ending when when the Nazis and the Russians meet. Yeah. You know, it was a very visual scene. It, it, you know, you got past for me anyways the, that there were zombies and they were actually clashing, and I love that the Russian. Uh, leader was after the German. I thought that scene was, you know, it was great how they were fighting and they were, and they finally came together. You know, exactly how you pictured it in your mind. Yeah, it was like when we started writing it. I always, I said, you know, it'd be cool to kind of reenact the, the Second World War. Like, we can have the Russians and the Germans and you had Americans on strange soil being involved in it all somehow. Um, um, but it was, um, yeah, it was, uh, and we had so much fun shooting the finale as well. And then we had. Uh, in Iceland, we shot in Iceland, and in Iceland they have a very big MMA community, like fighting community. So we just basically dressed all these guys as zombies and have them fight in the background. And we actually, so we did, you know, a lot of films you see background action and with extras, and it doesn't work that well. And but they were just really going at it and behind us. Um, but it was fun, and yeah, it, it's uh, it's we felt that we had something big for the ending. I wanted to go big. If I were going to do a sequel, I want to do something big, and what's bigger than a, a full on. Zombie Second World War. Yeah. <laughs> Russian versus Germany again. Yeah. And then everyone dead except for the, the few Americans and the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> squeeze in between. And, and the police. The, yes. <laughs> the poor police. Yeah. Yeah. They were like a, the Keystone cops there. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was a nice little element. Yeah, no, the thing is, it's like they're observers. They're kind of the audience almost reacting to all this crazy shit that's going on. And they're also based on, in north of Norway, and was, and, you know, very small towns, you have cops that. Not doing that much, uh, so they're kind of you know just waiting for action, and these guys get a little bit more than they wanted. You know, <laughs> you know and and I, and, I, and I like the fact that you know they survived. You know, the, you know the innocent. You know, the innocent are usually the first ones to go, but you know all of them survived. Uh, any thought on that? Uh, purposeful or just how it worked out? Yeah, it's kind of just like, again like comedy. And I, I, you know, and we also have some. If we ever do a, a third film, <laughs> yes. you know, we have a fun storyline for for the cop. You know, who's now obsessed with Martin, living in a cabin, drinking his own piss, you know, <laughs> dedicated his life to find him. I mean, it's a, we, we, we have some stuff we want to try to do, if we ever do a third one. Yeah, yeah. So, so I have to ask, Martin, how has it changed your life? View zombies differently? View Nazis, Germans, uh, you know, the Russians differently, gold no. differently, you know? Zero, zero has changed. <laughs> Amputation of, you know, reattachment of... <laughs> life, life goes on. <laughs> Except for now being initiated into the zombie society. Right, now, as soon as I get my membership card, then it's well, official. Then that, it's a whole different world. Does this mean if, if there is a zombie outbreak, people will look to us then? Yeah, we, we, have, we have to take responsibility. Yeah, yeah so you'll be nice. the resident experts because you're the names out there. And I like that. That's why we got to start going to those Type O classes. Yeah. yeah core training. Yeah. Core, 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 training. Did. <laughs> core first. Mm -hmm. no, no, that is Type O. Is it? Yeah, you don't know Type O. No, what is it? Do you remember Tabo from like the 90s? No. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that was Billy Blank or someone like that, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> something else in Norway. We just, you know, do stuff. <laughs> fight. Oh, right. Yeah, fight zombies. Right. <laughs> you look extremely active. 
He did. They, they're, they were privileged. To, <laughs> they're, they're resistant to the cold and everything. So. <laughs> I was forged out of ice. Oh, look at Where are you? You have a mighty hammer. And, uh, that's a different story. Anyway, I'll go somewhere. <laughs> okay. Well, well you know, just a couple more questions. Um, uh, uh, Tommy, uh, what's next for you? Promoting this film? You got some current projects coming up, of course, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, this is coming out now tomorrow, Friday the 10th. And uh, uh, after that, it's just, uh, I'm attached to a couple of things. The closest thing to happening is probably a, a sci fi called What Happened to Monday, and uh, starring Mimi Rapaz. And uh, we're looking to start shooting early next year, hopefully. Oh, fantastic. And, and Martin, how about for you? Uh, I go into production on uh, Silicon Valley, the second season of Silicon Valley, and then. I have a movie I'm proud of. Uh, another movie I'm proud of that comes out uh, early next year. Oh, wonderful. Called Amira and Sam. Oh. But more importantly, we're just going to keep doing press for other people's movies over the next couple months. Nice. Just mm. for them. What? <laughs> <laughs> not, not this one. Just we're just, just going to spread the word yeah. on, on other people. And just, yeah. just randomly pick up we're a film. So, we're so good that people actually hire us in to do press for other films. Yeah, we'll start with Fury. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, it's related. Nazi, yeah, look at yeah. that, the tank, wow, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, no, actually, <laughs> we should have reached onto that film. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> if you like <laughs> Fury. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go on your posters and write Fury on the tank yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how, about, yeah, how about social media, for this film or for yourselves? Yeah, Instagram. No, yeah, okay. you do. Time or Cola. Top Cola, yeah. nice. There is a lot of new photos of myself. Thank you. With zombies? Or just... No, just me. Okay, uh, thank you. And Solo shots. <laughs> And so they didn't have to hack into your phone, you just posted it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll no. just do it because oh. I know I will eventually get hacked. The okay. fappening. <laughs> Vertical of the fappening. What's that? You're talking... Uh, you don't know the fappening? No. That's what they've deemed this uh, outbreak of nude photos ah. from James Bond. God, it's, I'm, I'm so behind on everything. I think it's the famous happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, you know, I enjoyed the film. Thank <laughs> that, you so much. That was great. And I said, visually, everything was, you know, beautiful. I think you captured something there. Thank you. Yeah, I think Thank it was you. wonderful. Martin, you know, that you were great in, uh, in your film. Congratulations, Thank you. guys. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah, thanks again. Appreciate it.